All right, all right, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. This is 99 Media, I'm Dom. And here in this video, what we're gonna do is we're going to start um, a new section on the channel where I actually start addressing, you know what, I, that light's bothering me. Um, and now that light's bothering me. All right, whatever. Um, I just wanna start a new uh, section in the channel where we discuss uh, things that are going on in the EV community, a lot of questions that are being asked uh, by a lot of people, and I kind of want to give that answer. I feel that I'm qualified to give that answer because I am an EV owner for the past, since August 2021, so almost uh, three years. Um, I own two uh, I own two EVs, a uh, 2020 uh, Model 3 and a 2022 Model Y. And between the two, we have about 75,000 miles between it. And I feel like I pretty much kept up with mine. And I just want to be here as a voice uh, for other people that are going through the same things that I went through. And let's just go ahead and get into it. So what we're going to do first is get into the question that is asked. And I have a lot of these saved, actually. So we got quite a bit of content for this. I'm just going to switch over to and shout out to StreamYard, man. They're doing a lot of good things out here. Uh, we're just going to switch over to uh, my feed here. And as you can see, this person's asking, hey, I have a Tesla wall charger installed on it. Um, ooh, I have a Tesla wall charger. And then basically, they're, they're, it's on a 50 amp circuit. And he was charging today at 38 amp and slid the uh, charging amp to the right but he was only able to get a max of 40 amps. And this is not this is not uncommon. A lot of people think that just they're going to get 48 amps even though they have 50. Uh, what has to happen, well, the thing is when you're talking about the uh, charging code, they can only use 20% uh, they can yeah, there's a 20% buffer. So if you in install a 50 amp uh, breaker on your circuit, you can only use up to a max of 40 amps. If you install a 60 amp breaker, you can go up to 48, 48. So it can only use 80% of what you install. And that's something that some electricians probably aren't telling people. Me, I had my guy uh, who's specifically certified by Tesla in order to uh, install these. And he definitely gave everything that was recommended. And I'm seeing that. So what also what we're going to do over here is I'm just going to go over here to the grid that Tesla has that tells you for which wall connector and then like the amps that you're using and then the speed that you're going to get. So as you can see, he said he's only getting 40, even though he has a 50 amp breaker. So at 50 amps, you, the max you can do is 40 and which is going to give you 9.6 kilowatts, which, you know, is going to give you 34 miles per hour on an S. Uh, 37 miles per hour of charge on a three, uh, 29 miles per hour of charge on an X and 37 on a Y. So model three and model Y are pretty comparative. Um, they're, they're pretty much practically the same. So whatever you see for the model three, you're definitely going to see on the model Y, but S and X, you're definitely going to get some variation there. But yeah, so for me at 48 amps, I can do 44 miles per hour, which is more than, and it's honestly overkill. Most of the time when we, when we use it, it's mostly for my wife and it's overnight and I usually drop it down like 24. Um, we still, that's still kind of overkill, especially overnight. Even for me, I use the mobile connector. I work from home now, so I'm not driving as much. So I don't even charge. I don't even plug it in as often as I used to, but yeah, this is just something that I wanted to come online and just kind of address to people before the, you know, before, uh, things get crazy. <laughs> and I just wanted to show people that. So if you're definitely using a wall connector, please, if you're thinking about getting a wall connector, please make sure you you look at this here. If you don't need um, 48 amps, don't, you know, hit, this is the grid to show you what you need. And honestly, for me, if you're going to spend the money, you might as well get 48 amps, even if you're not going to use it. It gives you a lot of overhead. Um, if you're in an older home where you do not have the room in your breaker, please just use whatever it is that you can. You don't want to install something that's that will go over because of the trip your whole system. Then you got a whole problem. And honestly, this is don't say Dom did it. Please don't say it. But yeah, like I said, I just wanted to get on and uh, show you guys this. Like I said, we're going to do a lot more videos like this answering questions. Um, I have quite a few, like I said, but make sure you like subscribe and I will see you in the next one.